Hey everybody, you probably saw two weeks ago we posted a cool vlog when we went to Klik in Dendermonde and we visited Clifford. When we were there, we also recorded this full-length podcast you're about to listen to. We talked about coffee, how Clifford got into it, and how he went from knowing absolutely nothing to owning a specialty coffee shop and serving it on a daily. I hope you enjoy this uh, podcast. It's the first time we actually dive into this content form, and I really hope you enjoy it. See you next time. How are you doing, man? <laughs> no, we're just, uh, yeah. we're just going to pretend like we okay, haven't yeah. spent like the next few, the last few hours together. Okay. Uh, hi. Yeah. Thank you for having us at your shop. Welcome to yeah, the first welcome. episode of, of this podcast. Um, we've been following what, you, what you're doing here at Click and Dendal Mondo for quite some time. Yeah. And it's pretty exciting and we wanted to see it in with our own eyes and uh, know a bit more of like the story behind. Yeah. How did you get here? Uh, what's your plans for the future? And what does Den de Monde have <laughs> as a potential? So welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh... Today, hosting this uh, this show with me, um, our good friend, Jadeep. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, guys. I'm just like the, what's the name again? The one? D-Rock. No, no, D-Rock, but the one from Joe Rogan? What's I don't, I don't uh, watch Joe don't Rogan. Uh, Jamie, huh? Jamie, 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 Jamie. And the guy who just, my job description is to Google stuff. All right. <laughs> and um, yeah, just input here and there. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Cool. I guess uh, right away, Clifford, for you, what do you do in life? What I do in life? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were thinking about this question. <laughs> Cut to the chase. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm busy with learning everything about coffee. Mm -hmm. That's what I do in life at the moment. That, that's my, my only plan at the moment learning everything uh, about coffee and of course a lot of tea and, and other stuff and, and vegan foods because yeah you get the total package then yeah. and my girlfriend does all the work in the backgrounds for the aesthetic so yeah I'm lucky to have yeah yeah, yeah. so have right now to just set the tone we're in your shop here in Denda Mondo uh, this is a, a place that you're sharing with uh, a yeah. girl who makes uh, some food yeah. and pastry as well yeah, she's also new on... in, in, in yeah. the business and we got to learn each other in my uh -huh. first pop-up. Yes. She went by a few times to drink some coffee and we talked to each right. other about what we're going to do. Which, which leads us very well into oh. this question is, how did we get here? Because I, I know a little more about your story, but share with, with us, how did we get from uh, not being in coffee at all to yeah. actually uh, being in this pop-up right now and mm -hmm. all the pop-ups that came in between the <laughs> no coffee at all and where we're here with a yeah. beautiful shop. Yeah, it all started out with, with hanging with my girlfriend in Ghent and uh -huh. she took me to a few uh, coffee places to just hang out and study and, and that kind of thing. And I got into better coffee at that moment because I wasn't interested. Like, Without working in, in coffee shops at all? No, no. I yeah. never worked in a coffee shop or even in the Horika. Do you yeah, say yeah. it like that in yeah, English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horika. And didn't have any experience, but my, my girlfriend had a lot of experience working mm -hmm. at Seaside. Okay. A few brasserie yeah. uh, stuff and where they make waffles and then yeah. the normal tea room stuff. Like more traditional yes. yeah, hospitality. The normal stuff. hospitality yeah. uh, stuff. And then when she was in, in, in Ghent as a student, uh, yeah, we got to know each other, you know, we became a couple and then she took me to a lot of coffee places where she was just studying and making uh, yeah, her graphic yeah, design yeah. and stuff because she thought it, it, it was more creative to sit with her friends in, in, sure. in a coffee bar and, and, and was, how do you say it? It's a ping pong, uh, just brainstorm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, brainstorm together and, and get more out of a, a, yeah. a, a design. If you just can brainstorm, yeah, more inspiration. Yeah, yeah, more inspiration. And so from and I got this inspiration from the, the, the coffee scene at that moment. Yeah. I was just talking to the barista at the time uh -huh. because my girlfriend was just she was talking, working. Yeah, she was market. just working, and I was hanging at the bar yeah, most yeah. of the time. Pre Corona, you could just hang yeah. at the bar and talk to the to talk to the barista, and I really enjoyed it. And my first awesome experience was at Peabody Coffee Bar in yeah. Ghent. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. But, Got to learn a lot of people over there sure, again, sure, and experience. now we wanted to, yeah. And so from, from there on, you had your experience with the first specialty coffee shops in Ghent. Yeah, and Ghent were my first ones, yeah. And 
what, when did you actually start making coffee and going behind the bar and going from being a customer to, oh, actually, I'm going to take a barista position? Um, yeah, like, yeah, with Corona, I'm real, little, <laughs> I don't know how long, We're, when you're in a or something, yeah, just before, yeah, yeah just before the, the, um, the first pop-up, yeah, I, yeah, before my first pop-up, I never made an espresso in my life, right? so. So you really like you opened a pop up shop where you were serving coffee for people and just started learning at that exact. Uh, moment. Yeah, yeah. Half year before that, I yeah. was going to uh, Lorenzo Tiberi and asking questions. Yeah, I was asking questions just for, so the last, for the last four or five years to everyone, and I just learned everything with my eyes and YouTube yeah. movies and making filters at home for my girlfriend. Did you Did you ever actually like try and apply for for a job in a coffee shop or no? Never because yeah, I, I was. Working for like thirteen years already for okay. the same company and just what did you do? <laughs> I worked over here in Nanderwanda, of course. I never went out of Nanderwanda. Um, for Philips, uh, they used to call Philips, and they in the early days they made everything, the televisions and all the stuff. But okay. at the end, the last ten years I worked over there, so they only made car speakers anymore. Okay, all the other parts were just in China and stuff. No. And what did you do for them? Yeah, I started as just interim work and then went as an operator for a machine. Yeah. So it was more at my own. I can just go to the toilet when I wanted to because and, when you have to... Work so at, like at a, at a, in production, actually. Yeah. Wow, okay, cool. Yeah. Interesting. And then after that, I, I did more jobs uh, at, at the same company, but more yeah i had yeah. more privileges and did more stuff uh, yeah, by yeah. myself and i could advance a little yeah and more free i would mm -hmm. and more uh, office work also and yeah. uh, uh the chemistry part with the glues and we have to mix up everything in the laboratory <laughs> okay. and, and all that yeah yeah, yeah. so it was still pretty interesting but after oh, six or seven years i was already getting tired of it uh -huh. but i didn't know what i wanted to do in my life until i got to know the the, the Everything about coffee and the coffee scene because of my girlfriend that took me over there and what is, all what, the young people that are. What is it that, that you like so much? I like about. everything about the coffee scene at the moment. Maybe it's because I'm so naive right now, also uh -huh. <laughs> because I'm not that long into the the, the, the really uh, coffee scene or specialty <laughs> coffee scene. I don't know what I have to say, um, but I like that it's yeah for me. I'm building a big community with my friends in the Monde, but I also love to just hang out with everyone in the specialty coffee yeah. scene in the entire world. When I'm the last four years or something, when, when we did a trip, it was only for taking Polaroids because that's my other project. Uh -huh. so we have a, an art project with Polaroids. Yeah. And we, we always were looking up where are the specialty bars and the specialty roasters and where we can take the best shots in the most awesome uh, buildings nice. and stuff in the environment and then we combine them and we made a trip for a weekend or a week and that was our thing we always yeah actually there's i'm just bouncing off of this i don't maybe you know a girl um she uh, she has an account called a polaroid story and she did just a bunch of interviews with artists and even like kendrick back in like 09 and like way before that yeah. and uh just up and coming artists and always she would like post a polaroid and the story that goes with it Nice. Uh, yeah, you can check it out. It's it's, yeah, it's quite cool. Me, yeah. It's funny because like one of the big things is like really like the social aspect of of coffee shop, yeah. which often we hear everything about like hey, the best coffees and and when you get into the community, yeah. it's a lot of nerds. It's, it's like the new kind of know. cafe. Yeah, a new kinds. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, no, one hundred percent. Like in cafe, this generation, the young guys are the building more outside. Of, like, yeah place where you recruit people yeah and it's funny because it's such i think the belgian cafe the normal yeah. traditional yeah. cafe is getting a little bit more yeah. for the older people and it's getting yeah but the, they're the, coming way more coffee bars the, the need for like social interactions and 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 link is still there yeah and i think it's such an important part of coffee culture it's just like people hanging out yeah. and going to a place and being recognized and getting to yeah. know people on a meaningful level not just like hey how are you doing no 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 actually deep, like deep, deep conversations yeah, also yeah. and hanging out and, and becoming really good friends not yeah. just uh oh, passing I by i don't remember how that feels oh, no, oh, of, like, being <laughs> because, <laughs> really yeah. uh, because it's been so long when was yeah. the last time you guys just went and just had a coffee and sat there. Yeah, because of Corona. Uh, or you didn't feel already. like, you know, there's a line behind you and you need to leave yeah. yourself. And, you know. Or, and, and just looking at, at a night where you can, like, you're just so oblivious to everything that's happening behind the bar that you can actually just sink in 
and, yeah, and just relax. Uh, no, I'm just always analyzing like the flow, boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah, what's yeah. happening? Me. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm. I, I'm telling the customers at the moment. Also, I really miss the hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down. That's why I take it slow up my wall and stuff. But because everyone is in a rush, even mm -hmm. with Corona, I don't want just a fast yeah. coffee and just. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I just, oh my god, I want to do a hand brew. Just take a look. Uh, enjoy the environment when I'm brewing your coffee. That, For that, sure. That's what I like, the, the Japanese vibe. I guess it's nice also in, in a city like here, which isn't, I guess, as busy as Brussels, where like you got all the EU people and offices mm -hmm. and just like, yeah, okay, I mean, yeah. I'm just, I'm running, I'm always late. 2.5 yeah. yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, you were telling us a lot of... You have a, you, you have a lot of are... normal uh, tea rooms where you can get yeah. a takeaway coffee and I have sent a lot of people that were in the Russian. I saw it at, at their... Was it a Likam style? Um, I just saw it in their eyes, they couldn't wait anymore and just went from the bar to the door and said, Hi, oh, you can't wait anymore, yeah, over there, just just across the street you can get a, just a normal good cup of coffee with a cup on it because I don't use, um, yeah, yeah. and they're all yeah, really mad because I don't use lids. Uh, the plastic lids. Yeah, so yeah, you can just go over there, it's way cheaper and I think you can get a, a normal good cup of coffee way faster yeah. over there because I really want to enjoy brewing my coffee and yeah, I try to make it as possible and just show them the way to, to the other. I love that. Show. I love that. And I don't, I don't mind because yeah, yeah. I think I will. I can it's make a, it's it on about my own experience. Way. Yeah. It's not just about the final product. It's yeah. about what you create. It's yeah, and some of them are yeah. coming back. If, do we yeah, yeah. after that and just say, okay, it was it was fine over there, but I still want to try. I it have time you. now. I have time. Yeah, <laughs> because I did it on a, on a normal yeah. way. I was not. I was not. Yeah, not. Um, and if harsh. we if we go a, a step back yeah, yeah, and go back to like how did you the moment you started like how did you when did you really decide like okay fuck it this is what I'm gonna do I went to coffee shops I like it I vibe with people this is what I'm gonna do when did it happen and what really made you tilt like okay I'm going I'm doing it uh, yeah there, it was just building up mm -hmm. uh, because I didn't like the job I was in and I wanted to be really creative in my life, but I had yeah. music at the time, so yeah, you I were playing, I played, you played in a lot of bands, yeah, 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 and I really liked that for my creative part, and then I did, did my photography stuff, yeah, and so I did an introduction to analog and Polaroid photography to my girlfriend, and she didn't introduce me, to, she coffee. In, yeah, to coffee more, and the, so, so you never for a long time that really wanted in. to reprove these yeah. different but things it was, that you liked in your yeah, life. My previous, uh, um, um, yeah, um, my uh, shit, my oh, uh, you are an uh, employer. employer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it didn't went well. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> didn't went well anymore. So I got me into a corner where I pushed myself into uh, uh, getting. Uh, oh fuck! Was it that? Getting fired. Yeah, getting, fired. getting fired. Oh my fired. god! Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to get fired because yeah, yeah. then I could use spring plank. Yeah, maybe I could, uh, <laughs> can tell it. Uh, unemployment. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you can't. You, yeah, yeah. Because you can't get the spring plank uh, if you if yeah, you yeah, design. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I was figuring out Sneaker. how I could do it. <laughs> and so from there on. And right. then with the spring plank, I can do whatever yeah. I want because you still have a small uh, some some money coming some in. money coming in, and then you can do it as right. a side job. Whatever. And so, how did you actually find the first place? How did you find like the because first? Because the place? city was talking about uh, yeah, it's a small city, so you hear everything over yeah. here. Ah, uh, find the, the the all the empty spots that were going. Uh, everything was getting empty, and there wasn't anything for the youth anymore. So they wanted to make a thing called Bakermat mm -hmm. over here. So to get younger people to rent a place for way less money. Yeah. And I also talked to a lot of politicians over here and to other guys from the youth center. And uh -huh. yeah, they found a place, and we talked to a lot of guys from the skate shop that. that Wanted to do it, right. and, and so it. yeah, so you you shared that first spot yeah. that you found through the city with the skate shop, right? Yeah, and At first, and then we didn't have And then it changed, and you yeah, had normally a few different. I also got a lot of privileges <laughs> because normally you could only rent it for three months. Uh -huh. But I've been there for almost ten months or eleven okay. months or something. Yeah, yeah. Because the Corona hit it in March, and I was starting with Click on my own in in January only. And yeah, yeah. Before that, I just was. I was just helping out the other shops. Okay. I, I set up my bar because I knew in, in six months, Nick will be on his own. Uh -huh. But I helped out the other shops okay. to get more people and get a community with the skate yeah, shop yeah, and yeah. the kids store. And, and my okay. girlfriend was working just next door, that place, in a tea room. Yeah. So it was easy. You were all on the same. I, 
Do you uh, still have a lot of these people that you met during those first pop-ups who come here now? Uh, yeah, a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The girl from the, from the skate it's, store it's and the funny. guys from the skate yeah. shop are, are, are sending friends over here because the skate shop is at the end. Of, yeah. They're sending friends over here for a flat white and they bring yeah, it to yeah. the skate shop. Yeah, still. That's cool. That's cool. And so, like, that lasted for six, 10 months total? Yeah, 10, 11. Yeah. Right. And then, and then that was the yeah. end of click number one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you... Yeah, and Jafna from Tartwerk yeah. went over there a few times and... She was also brainstorming. For, for context, this is the person that you're sharing this space with. Yeah, who's uh, doing all the 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 pace pace. issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Jafna from Tartwerk. Yeah, uh, Tartwerk, where I'm working together with now, um, was also a customer over there, and we shared a lot of same interest in how we look at things. And uh, she didn't came up with the Tartwerk, but she knew she wanted to do something, and she also asked me about the spring plank and how you can do it. And um, yeah, at first she worked in a, in a pasta bar, and she has she also has a lot of uh, experience in in, uh, in tea rooms and stuff. And uh, she could learn me a lot yeah. more about that. And so she found the spot here, and she called you over. I found the spot. Yeah, normally I should uh, re uh, replace my first pop up uh, to some someone else's uh, empty spot uh, just around the corner. Mm -hmm. But with Corona, the work in the uh, in that venue yeah. way longer. I still working over there because oh, wow. normally it would be a cocktail bar, and I would open it during the day with click, and then they would pop up, and during the night my friend would wow. open as a cocktail bar. But they're still working at it because they want to slow it down. Yeah, yeah. Because it wouldn't work at the moment. Uh -huh. So I was taking a look around if there is any other spot to. Yeah, I was just. Searching for, you knew, for yeah, you knew you were determined by that point. That's what you were yeah, gonna do. Yeah, yeah. After even two or three months, yeah, yeah. I said, "Fuck it, I just want to do this. I will find a yeah. way during." And and during what this is, time. I'm I'm curious is like what made you want to share this space with someone? It was it also like linked what? to that want like that that need to create like a connection and a place that is living and yeah and and to have more people interact. Or was it just like you you fuck with her, you vibe with her, and it's like yeah, second and yeah. And, and and also financial because I just needed to split up a very small venue because everything is super expensive. It's right. it's down the Mona and it's still super expensive, Quite expensive to, yeah, yeah. to run the yeah because here it's... you're located on one of the busiest streets well, yeah. at the end of it, but it's like still like a lot of people going through yeah, so it's still a busy busy yeah. place yeah, yeah okay most of the uh, the places, uh, the venues like, over here are right, way too expensive, and you have to cars. clear down everything and do and do electricity right. and then, yeah. Right, right. And I I knew it was not permanent because I wanted to buy a place yeah. because I was ready to sell my house to just do that. Work on my dreams. I want to go for a two hundred percent immediately. I, I don't want to rent a place, and I just want to go entirely and make cool. Yeah, make my life out of this project. I I don't like to do it just yeah, hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, that's man. That is that is cool. I I like how it's not even like I had a moment. It was just like the the logical. It was the next thing. Yeah. It, it made sense to you. Yeah, really cool that you. And just going on the on the vibe that I'm in right now. And yeah, I'm not thinking too much about it. I just want to go. And so why why here? Why Dendermonde? Because um yeah. Because you're from, from here. Yeah, right? I'm from Dendermonde. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm living here for like more than thirty years. So yeah, and I know. All the, the the younger yeah, younger people yeah. between twenties and thirties. So he doesn't want to tell you this right now, but he's actually a star here. He was in a band. No, and no, no. everybody knows him. He's, he's just the cool he's, dude he's in the politicians. <laughs> and, uh, just so, exactly. Yeah. Talks, I was talking to politicians. <laughs> Imagine if you do this with Russell. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's so easy over here because it's done and only. It's a yeah, small right, town, right. and if you're grown up over here yeah, and you never left, yeah, it's easy to to know. So yeah, many of people like, with I have a question though. Yeah. Weren't you scared doing all of this? Putting like once you said that, you know, once I decided that I'm gonna set up this place, I'm even ready to sell off my house. It's like uh, putting all uh, cards on the table. Yeah, I never even stopped. So once you like scared, and, didn't you have any second thoughts? Mm -hmm. Bro, I fucked yeah, with no, that. I yeah. fucked with that so yeah, much. Yeah, no, I, like, no, whatever. I really like that. It's yeah, like poker I think I'm, poker, I'm, you know, like, I'm too old right now to just take a step back. I've worked yeah. for like 13 years against almost against my will just for an employment employee yeah, yeah. and i didn't like the job and i know 
I don't have any money right now. It's always like, oh, how yeah, are we yeah. going to get through this month? But I have so much fun and it's, it's we're you, getting so much more experience this last one year and a half than my... I probably know the answer, but would you ever go back? No, never. Yeah. Yeah. Never for the money. Never for Man, nothing. I, I feel I mean, you. Honestly, I, 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 it's just freedom. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. I can do this with you guys whenever I want. Yeah. If I just say, yeah, these are my opening hours. So or you guys or, or... just open a specialty <laughs> coffee. <laughs> right no. It's not as easy as it looks like. Yeah. It's cool. We do no. trainings at Model Cup. So um, <laughs> if you need some barista training, we hook you up. No worries. <laughs> Just make a podcast. Just, yeah. plug in, just plugging our, our offering. This is so much fun just doing whatever you want. Yeah. But yeah, you have to make something out of it, of course. Yeah, it's yeah, a business, yeah. but oh, it's, yeah. if you're creative. And but you the thing it. is, you're, you're bringing still something new to Dendermonde. It's not yeah. like you're trying to apply an old business model, something that's no, 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 like no. that everybody has seen. That's also the easy part in Dendermonde. I'm bringing something totally new. And, it's, and so you find it like it's easy. It's not like a, it's not like friction. It's not like you've got to convince It's hard them. to convince the people over yeah. here, but I really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's I, like, I really like this stuff that, that they just, don't know anything about just, it and I can talk for hours about oh, things that they think. Just, that's that's oh, the part of specialty coffee as well. That's right? so it's, awesome. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah. I like this part yeah, of the job. It's, it's kind of like the, the sales part of the thing, which is really fun because when you're passionate about what you do, it's easy to talk about it for hours and yeah. just go about it and like explain every single detail, like why we're so careful with measuring mm-hmm. everything in coffee and making yeah, sure that you know, everything is precise. Yeah, people to the right and just looking at the, at the numbers right. and stuff. Oh, are you doing this the entire time and just looking and yeah, just yeah. doing a little bit more? Of, yeah, of course. And just one second. One second longer and shorter. Right. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's, that, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the cool thing about this job. And I can tune in the entire uh-huh. time if I want to. And it, oh, I think God. that's one of the big, um, big things, big thing with like small places like this is the proximity you get. Because yeah. when you're in this position of like, well, you're by yourself or maybe you just have one person helping, you can really spend the time with people mm-hmm. and all these things. You can like, yeah, you can go ahead and talk 20 minutes about like light roast versus dark roast and explain yeah. to them what's the difference and why what they're tasting in their cup tastes like that. Yeah. And I don't think it's, it's, it's something that's very precious because as you grow and maybe you're a bit less behind the bar, you kind of lose that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that I really, I, I fuck with that and what you say, because like, that's what we've been doing at my little cup. Like at the beginning, it was, it wasn't as popular as it is today. And it was just a lot of work of just explaining to yeah. people and educating and taking yeah, I'm time, really tired time, every day, time, but time. Every time you, you wake up again and you get yeah. at the bar, it's super yeah, energetic. Exactly. And yeah. then at the end, yeah, of course you drown out. The energy, everyone takes your energy the but, entire day. Yeah. And but I think the, all the, the energy, like, yeah. I see what you mean, but when you like what you do, and as you just said, in the morning you wake up, you're you're down. Yeah, you're like, okay, yeah. let's do this again. Yeah, like, this is awesome. Go. It's yeah. fun. It's fun. Yeah, it really only is. for yeah, for your if your girlfriend is not in 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 the shop. Sometimes the 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 energy level. Yeah. Um. Uh. When you're when you're Fresh at home, yeah, it. it's. So, you have to take care when you're at home that you can. Shove it off and 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 talk about something different. Oh wow! Well, <laughs> <you're the best. laughs> oh, back at home. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's it's not easy because sometimes I start, yeah, I was, start I was, going. I was telling yeah. you about to you about that like a week ago, probably like. That's the hardest balance, thing about about balance. what I'm doing right you yeah. are so doing right now. I think is just uh, stop. Yeah. Where stop say, being stop. busy with with that's the problem. Of, 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 not really a problem, but that's like the thing of entrepreneurship, right? Entrepreneurs really like what they're doing, and then that becomes a lifestyle. Yeah, that doesn't Mr. Bain work anymore. That just becomes a lifestyle. Yeah, and then there's there we struggle with finding out when to say no, you know, mm-hmm. and then just. So that's why I told like, my bandmates, ah, we put the band on pause uh, last year yeah. uh, when I did the pop up, and we will see in a few months if I have some spare time to rehearse and stuff. Yeah. But after. Eight or nine months over there. I told you know, maybe yeah, you know. I think I have to quit music definitely yeah. for a few years or something because this is too awesome. But it's yeah. too big. It's yeah, it's way too much. I can't. I mean, that's the even rehearse anymore. And, and it's it's the it's what's so cool, but it's so what's so challenging about starting a place mm-hmm. by yourself. It's just like all the things that you have to deal with, like and figuring out because often, like at the beginning, like 
for me, it was just a lot of just like learning and figuring out what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, like, not even only the coffee part. Yeah, the like, business part is. Yeah, so exactly. The business, the accounting, oh the my cash God. flow, the ordering. That's a hard. Yeah, as everything as that's not coffee is a hard. Yeah. <laughs> but coming back to like what you were saying, I, 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 what's really difficult is actually to, to because you're no matter what you're always thinking about that. You're always thinking about the business, and yeah. that's something sometimes. I, like these days, I really try and be like, okay, now I'm, I'm at home. If I'm coming back home, I'm just dedicated to this. But there's still moments where your brain is just like, oh, wait, I got an idea for this. Oh, wait, I got to do this. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I had to pay this bill. That's crazy. And like I, every morning I, I, I wake up, like I look at the alarm 650 and I'm already thinking of like all the things I need to do. Yeah. And it's difficult sometimes because if you're sharing your life with somebody, it's of course, it's tiring for them too to just like seeing their the person they love just always being yeah. focused on that, and it's 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 a it's a difficult balance. I I still don't have any any answer to that, but it's 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 a challenge for sure. Me neither, but I'm I'm lucky. I think she just went. Yeah, I did say that she she's the the other part of the story, and yeah. she's making her own uh, story at the moment yeah, also because right. it, it, it's still shout out to Lisa yeah, by the way <laughs> yeah there's still a click between the both businesses yeah, yeah, yeah. and we can do it together yeah, exactly. but not together it was separately together that we were because for context so, Lisa so your good. girlfriend has a design studio right oh, yeah, she, yeah. she studied graphic design yeah. and she does uh, super cool graphic design <laughs> these very very cute and <laughs> slick looking uh, <laughs> ceramics so like she's she's also in a very creative yeah. uh, space yeah. where she like does understand both your own. worlds kind of yeah. Uh, yeah. collide right yeah. like she does stuff for you yeah. and and you kind of work together in yeah that, right but we definitely don't want to do the same thing because mm -hmm. then yeah the relationship it's too much together so she definitely never want to work in the bar yeah and she even has way more experience than me but yeah she always want to do something but that's great separately yeah. together you always want to do the back stories and, and ceramics or anything for click yeah. but never working on the same floor in the yeah. same uh, that's great in yeah. a way because you play on each other's yeah. strengths and we can work passions. for each other yeah. and together uh, on a different time and date and stuff but yeah. we can never do something yeah. together unless it's for uh, um our free time yeah <laughs> but I, I think we talked about this already like how do you actually like work like every day with your significant other and like not i don't know I, I i would find it so difficult like i see some people like for example in our neighborhood there's a there's a couple they have a, a restaurant and they work together and like every single day they work but together really working together in and it's like oh. man mad respect for that because after a while like it must like take a toll on on your personal life because then like the, the lines get blurred and like when it's yeah, personal course. time when it's like oh wait we gotta have this business work and i see a lot of people doing it but it's like that that in itself must be like another challenge yeah, but yeah every relationship is different right, yeah, right every, of course yeah okay. every relationship <laughs> has its own compatibilities like yeah but yeah wise words yeah <laughs> <laughs> from, the, from the guru darman <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> Did you remember this? Yeah, I saw that. Shout out, Shout out to Koriko. Shout out to Koriko. Shout out to Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Koriko? No. No. Oh man, you gotta start this. <laughs> he got me on on the, those videos, and I've been like telling everybody about them. This is fucking hilarious. Funny. And what, funny. what is yeah. it about? People reacting to like videos online. Okay. And um, often it's like, well, the the funniest ones are like cringe videos. So it's it's called What's Cringe, mm -hmm. and they just react to videos people send them online. Yeah. And fuck me, I was like, I was pissing myself like many times. They you know, YouTube or that. TikTok? YouTube, 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 YouTube. Okay. like okay. more, okay. yeah, longer it's for older people. Oh man, <laughs> we're so funny. So <laughs> yeah, it's just for guys like us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know you guys. I consider myself young. So I'm pretty young. Yeah? You're pretty old. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Moving on. No, man, you, you look yeah. like you're 23. You're, you're, yeah, you look younger than both of us. Man. Yeah, if I shave, I look 18 the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's why I keep my mustache the entire. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, 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 moving, yeah, moving, yeah, uh, yeah moving we're, we're drifting a little, but I guess it's big. Yeah. Um, but I was, I was wondering. I think we, like, you told me that uh, people in Denmark were actually pretty. Um, I'd say like open-minded and that they were very receptive to like 
um, environmental issues and yeah. and trying to. I think to Corona consume. also did a little bit of help. It helped a little. This, yeah, I but think so. Did do you feel like um, there was for me it helped? Yeah, all other businesses. Yeah, are <laughs> but, but is there like did you feel being I guess the first specialty coffee shop in Denmarkonde? Did you feel like there was like a a lot of education to do, or yeah, yeah, or were people like usually pretty curious and open and and, and were easy, I guess, to, to win over. I don't think the people in the world are pretty easy, but I know so many of them that they trust me a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget he was a number dude. Bro, exactly. I was gonna say I can see it in, in his eyes when he talked about it because it's funny because you yeah, also I guess you love that so much too that like it just becomes easy to talk to them yeah. and and get them. Like I saw you interact with people outside, like just yeah. people passing by. It's like this is your place. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> this yeah, is I really, really love. Yeah, bro. Really can you tell us from now? I love my beer. friends and my, my yeah, the, the big company uh, uh, that I had over here, yeah. and then we went to to Ghent with. Then the Monday <laughs> with all our friends and it's we were pretty cool. close. Yeah. Just the group. Yeah. So uh, I just want to take the punk music into coffee over here and then like, okay. and then make a community again. Oh. That's that's what I want to do. Right. But just like with the skates community, yeah. something like very tight. Yeah. yeah. But just a tight. In in general, when you were running the business, what challenges did you see yourself facing when you was what? How long has it been since you started the proper space and the proper setup over here? After the, over here? after the fourth, pop, how many pops you had? Five. Oh no, this is uh, this is the second one, but in the first place I did for I, I did a combination with with the skate shop and the, and the right. child right. Uh, right. baby store or whatever. And so this is the this is the first. This is the day. second place. The second and place. It's, it's it's one pop up over there. And yeah, yeah. Two, I did it just for like way more months than was okay. expected because of Corona. Yeah. You also get oh, okay, just stay over there because it's too hard right now to move. Yeah. So and, and otherwise it will just be empty because during Corona no one will start up a new a new business over here. Yeah, yeah. So just stay over here. Few months more, and then after two months, you have to stay a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end, we'll say, yeah, maybe we have to stop at August because. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. It's no, but bringing specialty coffee yeah. to the to the community. What challenges you saw yourself facing, or you you also said you didn't have any experience before, yeah. right? Anything you learned by oh. yourself. Oh 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 oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, yeah, the biggest challenge. Jumping back into it. Sorry, guys. Just so tiring. We just, we just <laughs> oh yeah. Zoned up. Tiny, tiny audio problems. We're back. Uh, JD was just firing questions. Yeah, like as the guru back on his. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. No, my my curiosity was that you know, for example, okay. I'll tell you just a bit of context, right? In India, specialty coffee is not a big thing, right? We're a tea country. You yeah. see, like Indian teas are always uh, very popular. So I always have in back of my mind that maybe someday I'd also want to bring that to my community back there, you know, back home. And this is what I see you doing kind of as well, like yeah, yeah. trying to bring something new to the community. So what was the challenge knowing that you also didn't have experience, you said you explored everything with your curiosity. Yeah. How was it setting up everything? And, you know, what were the main difficulties you saw facing? I just saw the right opportunity when there was a new roaster coming up. Right. right. And when I'm, I saw the cart from, yeah, Okay, it's okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend worked at the, the small tea room, the normal tea room where they also yeah. serve coffee. And that's where the, the new roaster went by and leave his cart. Yeah. Just, I'm going to start a new roastery. Just take a look if you want to have some samples. And I saw the new cart. Oh, there's a new roastery in Andermonde? Wow. Just in, in our, I'm just going to call him and just tell him what I want to do in, in a few months because the first pop-up wasn't there yet. And just call him, hey, man, I want to do... Specialty coffee and and, and ho- just better coffee in the Monde and make and crazy. It, it just told me, oh, come over and it's... just get some samples and uh, I want to hear your story. And I did my story in the roastery. The new roastery was just setting up, so we were really close. Uh, close. We were, um, yeah. We were just setting up everything almost together in the Monde, and that's why it still makes my home blend. Yeah. Uh, so that, that was, was easy, like the, and it's also a guy that's over here for like forty years. He knows a lot yeah. of people over here. Also, so he did also a big part of my work, yeah. introducing better uh, coffee cool. in Dendermonde. 
uh, more local coffee, better roasted. It's still not the super light roasted specialty thing, but it's a big difference from the coffee they know over here, yeah, I think. Regular one, yeah. So I learned a lot of, from him and he learned lots of stuff from me because I did a lot of research in the specialty with awesome bars in, in, yeah, in Europe. Yeah. So we're learning a lot from each other and he took me alongside of the roastery on that's really nice yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly it's impressive that you just started on your own like that without I had, anybody I had really lots like, of luck also yeah. on the right place just on my my previous employee and just getting rid of that job and just finding a, a, a roaster that started and then the opportunity that the the city just found a place where young people could do yeah. <laughs> something with low, I, I, low rent. Just, everything just falls together just a bit of luck or also and just i just like, took everything i could yeah. and I'm still taking everything I can. I think it's also I like to... just a uh, will and just wanting to yeah, move forward. Genuine curiosity. Yeah, because like you could also. But you have, like, you stop you have to go the... forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you, you feel you something, just, just go never for stop. it. Yeah. I'm always calling and emailing and going to every city and just talking to people about this, and it helps really well. What's what's the? But I don't have the, to the... pressure myself. It just comes naturally. Yeah. Like, I yeah. Love this shit. No, for it's sure. Yeah. Awesome. And and you can tell. I mean, like seeing you interact with people it's pretty obvious like it's, it's genuine it's not like you're forcing it but what is the like the, the biggest thing that you took away from like that first pop-up starting this one yeah. is there like one thing where you're like okay this i'm gonna do different mm. and like it, it wasn't like or i could do it better than this and i really want to have another approach when i do like the second spot yeah i want to have yeah it's a little bit more advanced material so I can like equipment. more quality. Or, yeah, equipment. Yeah, equipment. Yes. And also yeah, the guest roasters, I wanna keep them coming because mm -hmm. I really like to introduce all the the guest roasters in the Nermonde uh, from entire right. from our So you saw value party. in actually bringing bringing new roasters and, and I wanna make the community bigger and more close right. to each other and just right, right. that's why I also really Love to talk to you guys and that you're coming over to Daniel Monde yeah. and that the guys from Leuven yeah. went and yeah, Ghent sure. and Brussels and Antwerp and that's where I really sure. love to do make I, every, every I, one connect. And I really agree with with what you said about guest roasters. It's such a good way. That's awesome. To actually, can, yeah, just to post, let them taste it. Yeah, it's over here. You don't have to go to Brussels because sometimes they hear about it or see it on Instagram, but they're also lazy. And now it's just around the corner in their own town. It's, yeah, oh, I can try it, and it's easier to try it. At, Click, I think, because I, I'm really open and I talk not talk them into the drink, but a lot of time I'm just brewing for myself or for pleasure, and I just, ah, oh, you want to taste it? Yeah, you don't have to pay for it. Just take a few sips, and I, I give so yeah, many things understand. away, just not yeah. because I want them to drink it, but because yeah. I just want to. You want to share? Yeah. I just want to share the experience and, and let them know that there is something else that than, than the other stuff they found over here. And I don't want to make them customers, but I just want to make yeah, uh, give, everyone their eyes giving open. Not out. only for coffee, but also for tea and also yeah. for community and also for being open. And yeah, amen to that. I don't just like good, the, just giving without any anything in mind, any yeah. expectations. And the yeah, people so. that, that are making the click with, that's yeah. why also a little bit why I choose my name. Yeah, they come back. And the other ones, it's, it, it's, if it's not their cup of tea and it's too slow and it's too much yeah. for them, yeah, they go to the normal traditional sure. stuff, and, and I don't mind. Man, I, and what you just said, like, what you said about, like, just sharing stuff without wanting to make them customers. Yeah. It's so important. And it doesn't I think, interest me that, that they become. But, but it's something that's so important because, like, I, I, I see I so many share people the don't have it. And this is such an important side of it, like, of just, like, giving without any expectations. Mm -hmm. Like, often customers will be very surprised when you do that. Yeah, and, yeah, I see it. And rice from it, uh, and and it's for free, you know, it's for right, you and exactly. All. And then I was just drinking it with coffee. Absolutely. I just want and because this is also like part of just like sharing a passion, and I I really believe that like in the long term it pays because it's just it's just you being yourself and like genuinely caring about like coffee and and wanting people to discover more yes. and like in the end it's also caring about them. It's like you yeah. want them to discover something else because you know that there's something really good for them that they might love and just discover and be so yeah. as passionate as you were when you started and it. they never tasted it because the uh, in english the yep. temple uh -huh. there is all, always a, a barrier 
between them and an expensive yeah, yeah. bar or the, the expensive coffees. Exactly. Not it's being... broken one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, so you want to be the opposite of like that posh place that doesn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. You just like, you, you're you the link. I want to do the, the, the aesthetics from a posh place. Yeah. But I want to be the guy that's just hanging on the streets and uh, yeah, normally and skating, yeah, smoking cigarettes and stuff. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I really want, yeah, just to be the, the skate scene, the punk scene I've always been in. Mm -hmm. Super clothes and super social stuff. And, like, but I want to have super nice aesthetics, of course, because we love them. And I'm into fashion, I'm into design, I'm into what. Yeah, they're finding a balance in mm -hmm. between. They still enter your shop because it's too fancy or too yeah. expensive. And being super open and stuff, then that, yeah, to really find that balance, that, that, that will be. Yeah. And it's awesome. it's funny because often like places don't e do either you have or to, you have to do both. Yeah, 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 yeah. it can be done. But, yeah, absolutely. I, but uh, your your people from your community also make a big, big, big part of that. Mm -hmm. And the way I treat my people and my, the, the people that come into Click, I think they will spread the same energy, and that's for sure. Why it's going by itself, I think, and that's why I can do some nice aesthetics in my next job because everyone knows it's it's just a, it's just like a skate shop but super fancy. It also super connects awesome to, the, to the vegan products, no? That's the yeah, yeah, because of, um, yeah, in my previous shop I never did uh, plant based or vegan at the at the windows because it wouldn't work. Definitely wouldn't work without explanation or with me do, doing uh, the talk or or anything. Yeah. So they, I never did it on on the, on the window, and they just went in and just asked for a coffee, and I gave them a plant based one. Mm -hmm. They didn't know, and they didn't um, know the difference. Yeah, they couldn't. Uh, a lot of people asked me after the the cappuccino or the flat white, the, the milk based, of course, what what was in the coffee because it was totally different and it was so good. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was not because of me. I was not so experienced, but it was still so different from traditional coffees over here. And I said, yeah, you drink oat milk. Huh? <laughs> it's like almost you poison them. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Then I like the oat milk. <laughs> right? Just like, I yeah, came yeah, back yeah. For, for another one. I think this is exactly like Almost this. everyone yeah. liked the oats. But I didn't know yeah. why the coffee was so different. Yeah. Very often people would, like, would just think that they don't like something. They never try. But I don't think it's the oat milk. It's just because uh, I did yeah, a little bit like, more uh, than just ruining a black uh, right. second yeah, black yeah, espresso exactly. and but I just told him yeah you drink oat milk and the coffee is roasted well yeah. and it's local. But at least you exactly you, you you said this the tone you kind of like yeah I'm doing differently like it's yeah. not just the same as you'll find next God, really yeah but I don't yeah man honestly like what you're saying and like the your the passion with which you talk it really reminds me of what Bertrand which is uh, my associate and my little cup told me when when I was still under training because he's the dude who trained me yeah it's just like with every customer um I, I, I I'm sure it's gonna sound terrible but like the analogy was basically like every customer can be like a star for you that like shine so bright yeah i think that they, they, it's going to illuminate other stars in the sky yeah. it sounds super corny but it's exactly that when you've like put that much energy and that much passion in communicating that to somebody uh, and you really do it from a genuine place and just a, of like just you want to share that that person is just going to go ahead and do the exact same with people around them yeah. and just the more passion you put in this is how like you just grow from being yourself and just like one pop up to actually like a customer, like a uh, loyal customers and like a lot of people around in the community, like you said, it's just that that passion without like anything else. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I mean, when you when you talk about it, it's exactly that. I can kind of like see it in my mind. Yeah. And I'm sure you're gonna do like really really well with here because yeah. hearing this, I, I, I can do anything think, I love in this job. Yeah. it's not just making coffee, but nope. everything around. Yeah. For sure, this kind of job. It's and um, I guess we're 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 kind of like uh, <laughs> running towards the end. I I really wanted to ask you one question: Is yeah. where do you see Click in one year or two year? But like in let's say a not so close future, once Corona is done, oh, where yeah. do you see this project? Yeah, once Corona is done, everyone has to hang out. Though. Uh huh. Um, yeah. See, oh, I really want all the politicians. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's a yeah. smoking weed together with yeah. the skate, skater boy. Though. He's, He's kind of a bigger.
Uh, this is gonna be his spot. <laughs> There's this next thing in 10 years, like the Prime Minister of Belgium. <laughs> oh my god. So we're like, oh. Cool. Yeah, but in the near future, I know where I'm gonna be at in two years in my permanent venue. Oh, what, what, what? Sorry? Yeah. Oh, I am. I don't know. I am, of course. I, I'm, I know what you want to talk about, yeah. but you know, you gotta explain to people. Yeah, we already bought a new house where we're gonna put up the new permanent coffee bar. Oh, and wow. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I heard about <laughs> this. <laughs> Surprise! And also the, the graphic studio and a ceramic atelier right. uh, for my girlfriend awesome. and where we're gonna live upstairs. So you so, already found the spot for, yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, we it already. Uh, we're gonna tear down uh, the walls on the inside right Sick. now and we hope to finish it in two years. We don't mm -hmm. So that's when I'm gonna leave at this place yeah. at the next one. Any chance that it happens before those two years? <sighs> Maybe after this. <laughs> I hope it will be earlier, but yeah. my architect told me. Uh, so okay. Uh, normally, uh, I would say I would love to say one year and a half, but I think um, it will be two. Because there's a lot of renovations. But if more problems, it could be longer. Because <laughs> there there is a lot of renovations. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. I can show it to you later on. Uh, yeah. That's cool. where I'm going yeah, to be in two years. But is, is it going to be nearby this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. That is very, very exciting. But uh, I don't know where I'm going. Next, I really want to have a one kilo roaster also upstairs because yeah. I also into everything about coffee. So also roasting Bro, super yeah, small micro lots for my own to get in my freezer and doing it just by myself, not to get rid of Agostini or the guest roasters. I still want to yeah. uh, promote them in my shop, but also you, to you get wanna touch that even yeah, more. I, I can get my own green coffee. Not much. I just want to have a one kilo roaster. So I don't want to have a roastery because it's not my cup of tea. But I want to have the experience of roasting and then making the aeropress or the origami or whatever and yeah, just yeah. doing everything and fine-tuning everything cool. and talking about everything about coffee from the farmer roaster Damn. the end product coffee is such a crazy world though no? yeah there's there's so much it's, it's, it's I not know, for like profit. You guys, i'm not gonna roast for profit no. the, the, the funny part is before you know coffee you never really think that it's such a big world and you yeah. immediately fall in love with it yeah it's great right? it's, it's crazy it's just coffee and then and then you go second into after the, you're like, wow, I don't even know what happened. My first month it was still going with my girlfriend. And, okay, we got a coffee, coffee. And you know okay. what? And then the more you go, the deeper the rabbit. Hole. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just like, like hole. sometimes like I really look at myself. It's been four years and I feel like I know nothing. Of course. There's really moments where it's like, the fuck? Like, I, I, it feels it's because like we're, 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 we're really punk in the specialty scene, I think. And it's, we, it's so we always want to break the rules yeah. from everything that's written down the, 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 the previous wave or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. So there's a new one and everything is breaking the rules yeah. and finding new awesome stuff into it. Absolutely. And you don't have to, yeah, there is no guideline anymore in coffee, I think. Everything, yeah, everyone because everything can. is so subjective. Yeah, yeah I love it. Oh. Yeah, so it's also, also I get it's it's right or wrong. sometimes, but. It's also exactly. the thing I love. It's so amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it's One thing is to show like all my friends are tired of just listening to coffee. <laughs> you guys have that? No, no. Yeah. I just stopped talking about it. I, it's like, and then there's always this moment like, hey, what you do? And I'm just, I say I'm a coffee maker. I'm an electric <laughs> coffee maker. I'm a scientist. <laughs> think they can, I just put beans into your mouth I'm and you shit out the uh, awesome <laughs> cup of coffee. I'm like the roaster. <laughs> Well, so you're like a, a cat, uh, the, the cats. Uh, oh, yeah, that's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Coffee, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. New kind of civet cat, <laughs> civet uh, human. Well, I think this this basically wraps it up <laughs> very, very nicely with cats. Um, if we love can, cats. If I do, can recommend anything to you so, guys is to get your asses in Dender Honda here in Klik and come check it out. It's a super cool spot. Everything is DIY, but it looks so yeah. neat. All made by friends of mine. All made, all everything's made by friends or yeah, by yourself. Yeah. All like three D printed stuff all over the place and like yeah. cool equipment. He's got one of the first machines, Dalacorte. Yeah. What is the name? Dalacorte is Zero. It's Dalacorte is Zero. Yeah. Some cool equipment Some you can awesome. see here on the video. People on the podcast, you can actually also check this out on YouTube. Um, and yeah, really get get yourself here. Share a great cup of coffee with uh, with Clifford and uh, man, thank you for for the thank time you for, for everything. So for much for coming. We, over we, to yeah. a small town than the moment.
And you know, he has been so happy to host us. It's crazy, yeah. right? He's been right, like, really. So I mean, oh, love and, your vibe. And, so and actually, like, let's make this uh, public. Like, sorry for actually <laughs> delaying <laughs> this. Because I think we called you already oh. twice, putting this off. Doesn't matter. Uh, but finally, we got to it. And I'm really happy about it. Yeah. So th thank you for the, yeah, from the bottom of my so heart. Much. Thanks for your time. Love this. And um, see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Thank you, Clifford, for taking the time to host us. It was, it was a really cool day. And um, yeah, very happy we did it. Cool. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll be doing a lot more of these. And let us know where we should go next. If you know some cool coffee people that uh, are always up to for a chat, let us know and we'll contact them. See ya. Bye-bye.